Let's make some fun pockets and journaling cards out of packaging paper. Hello and welcome to The Treasured Page. I'm Melanie and this is our quiet crafting space. Today I'm going to have a look at this packaging paper that's come through in a box, the sort of thing that you find when you get your deliveries and there is nothing special about it, apart from a lovely crinkly noise. But I am going to screw this up. I would like it to have soft crinkles, so I'm balling it up like that, giving it a good scrunch. Now, the other thing I've got here are two envelopes. These are from Greeting Cards, and I've kept them because it's this brown craft paper. It's recycled paper, and I think that that's really nice for crafts. I've got my packs here where I keep my stickers and things like that. I'm going to use up some old washi tape stickers, things that I don't really know what to do with sometimes because they're quite large. If you'd like to craft along with me, you're going to need some brown craft paper, some packaging paper, book page, that could be anything that could just come out of an old book and you cut it down to size. So this one's falling apart, it's an old paperback, nothing special, but you could cut it down to size to make these smaller journaling cards that we're going to have a look at today and you could create a dictionary page with the rounded corners on two sides if you wanted. This is a vintage English dictionary page or two you know from the book where it's a bit damaged. So if you find these books we can get some papers from them. These are nice little size books to look out for. I have got a Spanish one but I can't find it at the moment but you can get the more modern looking ones with the plastic covers although I say modern I think this one is from <laughs> 1986 so not modern but retro and uh, and then sort of antique vintage so there we go those are two styles and they're just they're interesting when you put a sticker a die cut it could be fussy cut from a book an image and even painting on yourself if you like to do that if you like to have a go at painting or just mark making different colors adding scraps or collage book page has a really lovely background effect so that's what we're using I'm just creating a lovely texture on here tear this down removing that tear that okay so it doesn't behave when it's been scrunched up because we've damaged the fibers so tearing becomes erratic so we've got three there, that's fine. What I'll do to get myself inspired is I'll go for the fun bit and we'll decorate these pages up and just have a look at what we have got. So if you've got little dictionary book or pages or translation book, a guide or an atlas, anything like this, anything of this size, these are really fun to play with. I'm just having a look and making sure that there's no words that are shouting out at me that are unpleasant and uh, in which case I will turn it round because that might be the nicer word. So I think we've got excite on that one, found, finding fountain that's nice expect expectation exotic and we've got forge and forgive and forlorn uh, a formaldehyde i'm not sure so maybe i prefer um fortnight fortish fortitude fortune teller maybe we'll go with it that way so get your pages orientated into a pleasing way and then you can look at how you would like to decorate them so you can paint them you can collage on them you can use your stickers you can use fussy cuts anything really i've got these little folders that i make out of junk mail just by taping them together and uh, lining them with decorative paper putting on some vellum or tracing paper to make the little pockets here so i've got some labels in that one there's a sticker there. So I'm just hunting out for spare stickers and things to use. These are really fun to make. I've got a video about this. If you are, you know, it keeps everything really thin and really well organised. They're lovely to make if you've got a project on the go and you just want to put that theme 
into a storage folder that you can then just grab. So it doesn't need to look pretty because this is functional. I have this all the time and these are the things that I use when I'm doing a particular project. So if I want botanical images um, then I will just, I might just end up putting them in here and, and pulling from them because I can see everything a lot clearer than bundling it all in one bigger one so that's what's happened here I can never find anything but I've got some stickers here that might work out so I'm going to pull them out because they're just a little bit larger they look like they might go so maybe some lovely butterflies that could work that's lovely as well so I'll just play around with those and see if we can come up with a nice scene so that's very lovely straight away um, and then we've got the roses that's really nice if I can just get a few of these stickers down and um, you know, just create something like that which will then be something that will be stuck down on a page these are just fun bit of fun really if you've got stickers like this um, to come up with something another thing we can do is use washi tape so if you've got a thicker strip this could look really great here I'm just going to see if I can tear that I've got these lovely bug stickers which are from the washi tape company so they're really sweet and I just think that they might look quite nice on, on here so we could just put a few on here and see and then this large cricket or something will come and live down here and then with anything to do with washi I always like to just push them into the paper and then they become really translucent they become at one with the paper behind you can see through the washi tape and they just seem to melt into the page so that I think that's really sweet I think that's really great so that's that one just remove the backing and we'll just put this on and see what this looks like. So that's lovely. So do have a look at the washi tape shop. They've got all of this sort of thing. It's just nice to know that they are going to last. The other thing you could do is, if you have a look at my coffee shop page, you'll find images like this that you could cut out. They would look great. They would look lovely. Backed onto some of the book page and you just create these little sheets of paper to use and pull from and then just burnish it into the paper gently pushing don't need to push hard that's that done trim that away another one done really great fun lots of little ideas of how you can put those together and then they make a really nice little pile and then you can go ahead and decorate something as dull as some packaging paper I'll just show you what I've got so from the length of my page or the width of my page I have then gone and got I probably only want five inches this is a bit too long so five inches and I'll just remove that little bit there so whatever your page is you then want five inches afterwards because that will allow you to wrap it round if you want to make a coin pocket of some sort that will give you that Put it right that will give you that and then it'll come right the way over that's only if you want one that comes right the way over many ways to make this so let's have a play see what we've got so this one this page or this piece of paper doesn't give me a lot of room to do folds and flaps it, I mean I can do so I, I mean, that would work wouldn't it really but it wouldn't give me much at the top so I think we just go with the scrap of paper and we let the scrap of paper determine how we decorate or how we make it. Alright so I'm just going to play and do whatever feels right at the time and for this one I think if the journaling card was going to be tucked inside then I would bring that in, I would bring that over and glue that shut I will cut along here to straighten it up and then I will decorate the end and then if I have a flap over then I will just bring that down make a little crease so I can see where it is 
and then I will just cut away the excess on here so this little bit is going so we'll get rid of that bit and we'll cut in here as well and then this will make my fold at the top so I'll just lose that bit there and lose that bit there So for these pockets, they're, they're looking like that. Very scruffy, very scrappy, deliberately not particularly measured very well. Um, we're wanting it to look scruffy. So when that folds over, you've got a scruffy torn edge. That's fine. And then you can just taper it in by just cutting a little, little slither, a little triangle bit off and do the same the other side. Uh, if you don't like it uneven, then you just snip that and you can round the corners if you want to or you can leave it I'm not sure at the moment let's just see how this turns out and we can work out if we want a straight edge or a rough edge doesn't matter at this point we are just putting it together don't need any fancy glue on this stick glue's fine bring that over seal that in that is your scruffy pocket now from here you could stick that on and hide that join and then you've got the rough top edge. That looks really cool. And we would just glue that shut and maybe put a bit of embellishment down there. The pocket could then be stuck in or be a movable thing. You could put something else there. That could be writing space. It's just a nice tactile feel. You can collage on that. You can glue some fabric or lace swatches. You can have anything, you know, if you wanted to show off a bit of fabric, you could have that all lined up along the top. Nice way of doing things. A little bit bulky, but if you flatten it under a book, you'll just make those creases um, sit nice and flat. Let's just neaten this up on the bottom and glue it shut. I think that's the best thing for it. And um, just a little bit of glue in there and we'll just seal that shut. All right, let's just glue this down. This one looks like it's the seed packets for some wild strawberries. Absolutely brilliant. Now there's something lovely about old dictionary paper because it's really fine and thin and has a lovely quality to it so when you're putting it to a rough textured background you're still getting the crinkle and there's something really nice about that so that's lovely it's now a pocket for, for anything extra this one feels like it wants a nice closure so I'm taking the hole punch and I'm just going to do that take a ring reinforcer around there little bit of um, brown ink on that one a bit more and then they're not very brown those ones are they these are just the ring re these are modern reinforcers that you just buy just put a little ink on them you can stamp over them lots of things to do to make them look cool might do that let's have a go just uh Put a little bit of ink on here, see if that gives us anything. And uh, they're instantly more interesting, so we'll... Like I have recently come across some very old vintage um, split pins or brads, so I think on this one I, I'm going to put that in there and just open that up at the back and that is going to be the closure for this like that so that's going to look like that really fun and then that's how you get into it so you'd have to open it up like that well these have taken a different uh, route but these are fun so that's one idea where it's come out like that and I've got then this split pin brad idea but that could have been a nice piece of thread or cotton or something it could have been you know a little bit more to poke out the top of a journal we could have easily put that in and made it look like a tag so that's that one well, let's do another very fun so we'll go again we'll just measure roughly what we need 
come over, do the same thing. Just being a bit quicker with it now because I know what I'm doing, so I can just go like that, stick this down, and then make a tube. And neaten it off at the bottom. Little bit of glue. Stick that down. Page nice and quick. This is a lovely idea. Just a play because they could come out differently, and you could just sit here and make quite a few of these just using your book page, your stickers, or fussy cuts, or die cuts, anything to embellish a book page, little collage, and that would be really fun. If you want to sew it on before gluing it shut, that would also look amazing. Okay, I've gone a bit wider here, so that's all right. I could now add a little bit of embellishments. I've got a bit of trim there that that could come in and just give a detail there. That's quite nice. A bit of fabri tack down the side here. And it's only because there was a wider bit on that side, and I just think it finishes it off quite nicely there. It's a nice feel, nice and tactile. And then, um, because I've stuck it on slightly wonky, it doesn't matter, of course, I am going to maybe use a bit of this paper. Just take a bit of the paper and see if I can build up a little tag here with some of this decorative paper here. Make, make a little page tab, uh, which will go something like that. I'm just going to remove the straight edge so that it's torn edge all the way around on that one. That's a bit of an original ledger paper. Um, I'll just come over, fold that over. That looks okay. So a bit of glue and put that on there. So we've got a pop of colour. The blue picks out the blue in the butterfly, this bit looks quite nice and maybe I like that in there. So that could look quite nice sewn round but an, ink, an inked edge would also look good. So we'll just see if we like that. We can go this way or we can go this way. That's okay but I don't like that bit so I'm just now looking for something else, maybe this. Yep, that's good. A little circle punch out of a book page from some something. Sometimes it's just useful to keep these pieces. They're just scrap pieces. It's all just scrap. And you're just playing. And then we just glue this bit on as well. You could sew it on. But uh, we're just trying to come up with some ideas here for you to go away and play and see what you can come up with. But yeah, we're just using the just using our scraps and a bit of book page. Just adding in the detail, looks nice there. And then it's missing something here, so we've got that there, that there, and then this, we've got these lines here and they're not straight. <laughs> so um, perhaps uh, just to add a little detail there, it takes it away, it pulls it all in, and that darker color links in with that butterfly and brings everything together. I think that would be good. So a little daub of glue down there and add in this little scrap of sari silk, scarf, cotton, balled up cotton, anything, something, just something. And then I think, yes, it does want a little stitch down the bottom to tie that in. That looks sweet as it is. Okay, back from the sewing machine, just done a few stitches down the bottom just to add that detail, looking quite cool. I've got that there. Um, and so we can still get into it. It's a nice soft pocket. There's something really lovely about it. It's all movable. In fact, even if we carry on and scrunch it up now, that just really adds to that old charm. And there you could put a bit of ink onto some of it as well, just to really age that so that's got a wonderful tactile feel they, those stickers have just merged in with it really really fun lovely soft and nice thing to play with 
I'll leave that one as it is. So that one's so that one's a nice rough scrunched up pocket, really cool. And then on the back we can hinge something on there, labels, writing space, just going to leave that for now. Then what I'll do is I'll add in some vintage writing paper into this pocket here, that will give it some interest. I'm just going to pull that down like a little envelope there and I might even use one of my washi stickers. There you go, now I'm just going to seal that down with one of these little stickers. I've got a little silicon sticker here of a postage mark, so I'll just uh, do that, or a ticket, I think it is. can't find my black ink, so I'll use the Hickory Smoke Grey, just because. I have no idea where the black ink's gone, so we'll just... It didn't look like it was going to do anything. Oh, that's all right. Okay, I'm having a wonky day today. I can't get anything straight. Never mind. It's not meant to be straight, and then we just pop it in there. Little, little fun document. To get my circle punch. I'll just do a little dipped hole here, and then that will help us to get things out and make it look a bit more meant. A little bit of hinge, a little bit of fabric, or something to allow it to swing out to be something interactive. Um, it can be stuck down of course and then just put in that way. There we go and that's how it looks and the tab just signals that something might want to lift up so in a journal that would flip Fold. out and then there's another pocket there. We'll do one more. Okay for the next one what I'm going to do is I will bring in the sides again like we've done before to make the pocket. So I'm just going to tear away some of this to make sure that I'm not creating any more bulk than is necessary. We've got now scraps there, so that will come over. Or I could have it that way and have the rough edge. And then what I'll do is I shall glue this down with the glue stick. It's quite hot here today, so my glue is melting a bit. Okay. And then I think what might be quite fun is to That. I'm just going to hide the line because, well, for starters, I put way too much glue on it, and uh, it's just a nice way to make that a bit more invisible. Then, this is my front. What I think I might do is I'll use that raggedy edge because I like it. I'm going to keep that, and I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew down three sides leaving the top open so that I can put things in and then I'll cut this accordingly and see how I feel about it. Okay I've come back from the sewing machine, worst sewing ever, um, really went wonky at the top and went all the way around. I think it looks cool, I love it when it comes out a bit like that, it's just organic and natural and you know how how you can then adapt is quite fun so we could just cover up the mistake with a bit of collage it's as simple as that um, uh, we might do that might like that over there actually that's a nice little scrap of tissue paper with some printing on it uh, what else have I got I've got a bit of a uh, interesting pattern but I don't like that and then oh nice bit of sari silk or a bit of you know anything just put something on the top of it and um, Little bit of little bit of trim up here that we've been using. That's all in keeping. That could be really nice. This is such delicate paper. I should have glued it down a little bit better. What I've got here is the potential to be a pocket, but also a big potential to tear. So I'm not really keen on that. But what I'll do is just make my repair here. And you can see I've got a hole there, so we don't really want that. So I'll just bring this fabric over there. That's fine, it's as if nothing happened. All totally meant, definitely wanted a little bit of sorry silk there. We'll just add in the embellishment, cover up the mistake and ultimately end up with something more interesting and much more fun. So I think what I could do is I could glue that down, but now I've strengthened that corner up, it doesn't feel so bad. So that's quite good. Let's have a look what it looks like with a bit of 
note paper and that could now come and live in there oh that's okay that works fine we'll leave it at that then and then we're left with this now we can either cut it or we could fold it and then this becomes something interesting at the back here which I like I like that look so I'm going to cut away the excess by going in with the scissors on this side snipping away that and just from these little cards just bringing out these ideas so much fun to sit here and play really relaxing it's been a lovely hour actually of just calming down gathering my thoughts having a play getting into something a bit different and just uh, discovering what works with the material when you just scrunch it up it gives a lovely tactile almost fabrics like quality to yeah. lovely to play with Put a little bit of ink there that's really sweet isn't it and then inside we've got the possibility of a journaling card or a tag and you just play with it until you're happy with them and you can make a whole bunch of these in whichever style that you um, quite like and you know, just give some ideas of how to do different pockets and bringing together a similar theme bring in that gardening idea of horticultural society you can just see a little bit there that just brings that in and then a label or something down the bottom would look great and we'll just glue this one down I haven't inked around it I don't think it needs it we'll just put that on there and then that is quite fun. So that's three nice pockets. This little seed packet here with the closure of the brad or the split pin there. That's really fun. And this can be a flip out into the journal with a page tab and writing space in there. And a fun little embellished letter or note, something interesting. And then using this longer pocket idea that gives a nice flap using very fine paper but giving it a strength by adding the crinkle and crease in there and then just writing space there and possible tickets or storage in the back of other things that you might want to put in there particularly if you're going to be using it in a journal in the future you could then add receipts something that you want to keep hold of but you don't particularly want to look at because it's a till receipt and it's not very pretty so what I'm going to do here is just make three journaling cards now I actually got these ones these are all going to be journaling cards and we'll see how many I can get out of this paper that I'm going to use here so I think I can just gonna get two out of each one which would be good I'll just do my gluing over on this flap over here Bring this down Really push that down, make sure that that's stuck as best it can be. That's it, just using the stick glue, sticking it down, paying no attention to the fact that there was an address there. We're just covering that up anyway and just sticking down this lovely fine old book paper which is still seen and honoured but now backed to tear that out. And the glue just needs to dry and then they can sit and I just decide whether or not I want to round the corners on all four sides and make some cards out of it. So this one I haven't got much room so I might cut round with the scissors. In fact I think I will. This one is going to be a bit neater. And then I'm just going to round the corner, rounding the corners here just to finish it off. That looks better. And the way that this has worked out on the fold here is quite interesting. That's quite a nice line and I do like that. So I'm thinking that this could be a hinge and I might just take it off there and then I've got an option to have that hinged in. Although I've just gone wonky there. So I'll just taper it in. Bring it in on the corners and now I've got 
something to play with that's a hinge that can go into a journal as a cup. All right, so we've got three journaling cards which I'm going to sew round just to give them a finished edge. Uh, same here as well, but this one is going to have that left on there to be a hinge into a journal to give it some interaction. And then we've got our pockets. All right, back from the sewing machine, we have these really sweet, lovely, sewn around, bound in, washi tape, book page, journaling cards. Nice and neat on the back, that one's come out lovely. I've let let the strings loose, of, uh, haven't you can cut them away, but they look really fun. Uh, left, if you like that look. Wonky at the top, a little bit messy around there, but you know, doesn't matter, it's all part of that look, that shabby look, that junk journaling vibe that we've got here. Lovely boho sort of energy here with that flap that we can uh, put that in the journal. Then we've got lots of pockets and they were really fun. And that is just how to quickly use up some of the packaging that comes through the post, making these fun pockets. Well, you, know, you can't save everything, but when you get a bit and sometimes it's um, different color or it's got a bit more strength to it. And, the, and that's again, how to use up the craft paper the backing of an old envelope, a greeting card, something like that. And just watch out for those as you get envelopes and things through the door. You can, of course, keep hold of those. They are nicer quality. And I'm just thinking on some of the tops here I might like to decorate. I like that one as it is. But I'm thinking that a bit of ribbon or lace or something along the top, just a trim, a bit of embellishment would be f quite fun. This is quite nice to keep these little sari silk bits. We might embellish that in a minute. And then I just want to have, I'm just going to cut some lengths of this cream, but aged, it's got a texture, it's got a color to it. Um, sari ribbon, so I'm going to just glue that on here, front and back, and then I will be able to stick on a piece of sari silk and give myself a little topper, like that, something like that. Just a little extra, isn't it? That looks okay. Oh, this happened, look, it all got, it all fell down and got scrunched up. So I've got all these sentiments that are complete junk now, they've all dried out. Look, all, that one's got stuck. Follow your dreams. That's quite a nice one, but it's got stuck to the other, so I can't really use it. Let's just cut that away. Okay, and I'm gonna pop that in there. And add a little bit of ink. So that's that one. And then we do the, just repeat the process for the other two. Do more of what makes you happy. I, yeah, I've really enjoyed this, so I think that that's really good. Um, I'm not putting them dead center. I'm, I think they look more interesting off center. And I'll just do the same on this one. There we go, bring that and stick that down. And then you could do more embellishment on there if you wanted. And I think we just want a little something up the top there that's not too long this one's nice you deserve to be happy i like that one it's a good size fits in there nicely a lovely sentiment for somebody going to receive this so there we go we deserve to be happy we all do don't we there we go there we are we all deserve to have a little moment of happiness now and again and it's really nice to come and sit and play and that to be achieved just by using up our old stuff just things that we've got in the craft room things that we've collected and just making some interesting things out of what we can find and not overthinking anything just putting it down and playing having a go seeing what takes seeing what looks right seeing what we feel and um, mainly what we feel and just putting it down where we feel is best and you know not even thinking about it and then see how you might like that to improve it even more i found another little cricket that's really funny that's quite a sturdy card one there it's 
quite bulky. It's like a. I don't know if that looks any good, but it's definitely bugs. It's a funny colour. I'm not sure I like it. Might take it off. I like that. I'm not sure I like it on there, but that could go on something else. So that was another idea. Okay, we'll leave that there. Okay, so this is what we've come back with. We've got some lovely pockets here, and we have got some journaling cards, and they are looking really good. And then these ones as well. This one to hinge in and to be a writing space to flip as it goes. You could put more down the side there if you want a bit of lace. We could have a bit of trim. But these things do tend to bulk up, so you have to look at how it looks in the journal and then decorate accordingly. might want a label, but all of these are just examples of what you could do and then embellish further. So again, I feel like there's something missing there, but I'm not sure what it is at the moment. And when it's in context with the rest of the journal, it may just become more visible and I can understand how I want to decorate them up further. So there we go, that is a really fun idea. Um, we've got lots of little tuck points now to go forward with and then we can always add these into these pockets as well and they become something that peeps out the top and just looks really fun. There we go, how much fun was that? So a bit of book page and some packaging paper from your delivery parcels. Okay guys, so I hope you've had fun there. I hope that gives you some ideas. Just go and sit down and have a play. It doesn't have to be washi tape if you haven't got that. It could be things that you've cut out of a magazine, pictures, photographs. It could be a digital kit, anything that you can get your hands on. If you're happy with sewing, you could do hand stitching. It doesn't have to be run through a machine. So hopefully that's given you some inspiration to spur you on, sit and mass make them, have a nice coffee and just enjoy yourself, relax and unwind. Okay, thank you so much for watching me. Do please like and subscribe. If you hit the bell icon, then you will get the videos as and when they come out and I shall try and be less erratic as I get back into things. And above everything else, just slow down and make crafting time for you. Bye-bye now. Mm -hmm.